Hi, Annie here, and I'm going to talk today about three of my favorite John Thaw television performances. And so John Thaw is a British actor who passed away, I think now more than 10 years ago, I think, because it was just at the end of Morris. And that is actually the first show I'm going to mention here, and that is uh, Inspector Morris. And this was a show, and I believe it had 33 episodes that were about an hour and a half long. They were TV movie length. And John Thaw played Detective Inspector Morris, who was kind of a grumpy police uh, detective that tended to solve murders. He worked with Sergeant Lewis, who was a much more upbeat and positive kind of family man than the grumpy inspector Morris who was not a family man and lived on his own. He delighted in difficult crossword puzzles and classical music. These were based on the books by Colin Dexter which is also just an excellent series if you're ever looking for excellent mystery books. They're really good and they're as much as they follow like some of the episodes that are based on the books definitely follow closely. There's also like quirks I feel like within the characters that um, you do not see here that you see in the book and vice versa. I'd say the books are a little bit darker or at least they were when I in my imagination when I was reading them. They seem a bit more um, I'd say graphic but you know as it is just the written word but I, they are maybe they are maybe a bit more on the dark side and that expose a little bit more of that kind of undercurrent of humanity that you still see in these but maybe not in quite the same way although I will say that as far as a mystery series go this one certainly doesn't shy away from that kind of darker side of human behavior but not I don't ever feel like in this series it's done in a like hugely salacious way it doesn't feel like it's something that's happening just because you know for the commercial it'll be really like catchy and you know eye-catching as far as something that people you know, like car crash kind of TV or just for how kind of gross it might be. This never felt like these. There's really strong um, mysteries within each episode. There's often several different things going on at once. Lots of British character actors and leading actors as well came through this. You'd recognize a lot of familiar faces if you pick it up. And I'm sure if you're from the UK, you know all about Inspector Morris, but I just thought I'd mention it. it is definitely one of my favorite performances of his and introduced me to like the whole world of some of those other British dramas like um, Inspector uh, a Touch of Frost for uh, Jack Frost and um, some of those other ones from that same era and ultimately Midsummer Murders as well. The next show I'm going to talk about here is Home to Roost. Now I don't have the complete series it's a shame I just have it's I think just yeah six episodes it's a volume. Um, I don't even know if all the episodes were ever released here in uh, this region and in Canada. I know that when I first started buying DVDs it was something that was a little bit easier to find but certainly hasn't been since then and this I got on like a clearance bin um, from Collectibles Direct before they went bust but well like way before they went bust I didn't get it because they were going bust but this is a show about a single father well, a father who's separated from the mother of his children and his son, who is getting like the end of his teen years, ends up moving in with him after things kind of go wrong and he's finishing off uh, some college courses, but they don't really get along. The father's very kind of stern and more like about rules and, you know, schedule and routine. He hasn't lived with kids for a long time, so to have this kind of... Uh, I'll say loutish, which is I think definitely how the father perceived the son in this, but um, I think he's just like not very, the son isn't very disciplined, he kind of wants what he wants, he doesn't, the idea of working for things when his dad could just give it to him or is a bit more foreign to him, but ultimately the relationship kind of works and they both learn a lot from each other, although not in like the classic American sitcom way, that's for sure. So Reese Dinsdale plays the son in this and he's somebody that has popped up in a few places over the years, a couple times in like mystery shows as like one of the, the characters and also I believe he was in Coronation Street uh, more recently. 
It's one that I haven't seen airing on TV recently in Canada anyway. It, although it did used to kind of get aired quasi-regularly on PBS that used to come over from Erie, but I haven't seen it in quite a long time except for these six episodes. But it really is kind of a... it's very much a series of its time, but it doesn't make it any the less enjoyable. And the third John Thaw performance I want to talk about is one I don't have a disc for because it is not available anymore. I've watched it from the library numerous times and off the television, and it is A Year in Provence. And this is based on the books by Peter Moyles, and John Thaw plays Peter, the Peter Moyles character in this. In the book, it is diary form and in the and done month by month, and in the television series, they've split it into... Uh, summer, you know, spring, or spring, summer, winter, fall, and it is just a beautiful kind of uh, bucolic series in many ways. It it definitely shows the, it's about a UK couple who move to France to like a rundown building with the intention of kind of restoring it and living there and kind of having the good life after retiring early. It is, it is just like a gentle, lovely, nice, flowing show. Very enjoyable to watch. Although there is conflict and there are things happening, it's just in that more life way rather than big events. It's a show I really wish was more easy to get on DVD, as I think it would be, or disc in general, as I think it would be one that I tend to gravitate back to over and over again. The library is now missing one of the discs here, so it's one that I can't kind of watch as easily. But it really is just, and it's a beautiful performance by John Thaw, quite different from these, because as much as he always will have a little bit of that grump, you know, in his soul, it's definitely kind of a more easygoing portrayal, I would say, than these other ones that are, he often kind of owned so well. So, anyway, those are three of my favorite John Thaw roles. Do you, is he an actor you've always liked or have you ever heard of him or any of that? If you have, I'd love to hear what your favorite role of his is. Or if you love Inspector Morris, I'd love to hear what your favorite episode is. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm putting out a video pretty much every day in September, so that's pretty exciting. Um, lots of content. Lots of stuff on movies and TV shows and also some life stuff, some, I think there'll be a little bit of arts and crafting type stuff and also, you know, uh, some like tips and tricks or some other favorites of mine. So, and my musical series is running every Wednesday this month. So please subscribe, I said subscribe, please subscribe and I'll see you, make sure to leave your comment and I'll see you soon. Bye.